Yeah. The second half, oh, I thought the first half was was really good. I mean, come here with a plan, and and they stuck to it. And um, uh, yeah, the try before half time hurt. You know, four 0 would have been would have been handy. But you know, the second half we just turned the ball over at crucial times. I didn't think. You know, they, they didn't really pull us apart with um, any shape or anything like that. We had, you know, we just errors, you know, the strip, balance try before half time, the one at the end, a couple of kicks. So, but that's what they do to you. They're a really good team. We knew that. But I'm um, really happy and proud of our effort. But there's a few learnings in there again from us as if we're going to beat those better teams, you can't give them those opportunities and some real lessons for some of our younger blokes and our older blokes as well. So what, what is the biggest lesson that you take out of today? That they can, that our team can compete. You know, when we're doing things well. You know, and you know we'll never get beaten on effort. We we had a, a lot of effort from everyone across the board, and I think for some of our young blokes, I think we got there's four blokes in there that can still play flag, and you know for them to be able to do what they did and Jackson to Pine play 75 minutes in the middle third of the field and um, compete the way we did. We can take some real positives out of that, but at the same time, we need to learn that, you know, to beat those good sides, you need to be clinical for 80 minutes, and um, we, we weren't quite good enough to do it for long enough periods. As Jack Edwards had a couple of lapses of discipline early, he's only back from suspension today as well. Yeah. How do you sort of get the best out Mate, of Mate, I didn't think there was anything in that. Though. Seriously, he might cop a fine, and I hope he, that's it. There's, yeah. Mate, there was, if you go through the whole game, there's probably about six or seven other ones like that that didn't get pulled up but because his name's Jack Hetherington you know and and you can't tell me that the referees don't have their name in the back of their mind every time he's involved in a tackle and the crowd get behind it as well so I really hope that he doesn't it'd be a bloody shame if he did because they weren't they weren't bad at all he was he was good and he's worked really hard on it I said before Jack Hetherington's not a dirty player um there was no force in, in any of those tackles at all at the start of the game. And, um, you know, I, I really hope that, um, you know, if anything at all, there's nothing or a monetary fine would be sufficient. But, you know, I'd hate to see <laughs> miss games for those. It'd be, be pretty sad. As I know the scoreline was bad, but do you feel like you've settled a little bit in terms of your combination? I mean, when, I suppose when you first hour when you go on set for set, they were kind of kicking you on. There was a couple of bad kicks, but yep. do you feel like you've kind of settled a little bit in terms of your combination then? Yeah, look, when you when you can pick a similar or your similar edges together each week, you get a bit of, you know, cohesion, I suppose, with your with your team. And, um, you know, Avarillo, I thought, has grown, you know, in his role. He's doing really well. But, um, yeah, as I said, we just need to put a bit of polish on a few things, I think, in the second half. As a big talking point's going to be origin selection in the next couple of days. Have you got some thoughts just as someone who's been involved in that arena about the, the Panthers boys and club combinations and that sort of stuff, whether, whether some of those guys should be in the mix? Yeah, well, there's certainly no reason why they shouldn't. You know, they've been um, at the top of their game for a long time. And, um, you know, I think they all, yeah, they'd all deserve a, a spot in there and they'd you know, the blokes that are being talked about in particular. And, you know, their form's been good for, for more than just this year, so, you know, Freddie's got a, a lot of choice there. Uh, yeah, look, we'll take the rest, but, um, you know, we've, we've still got a little bit of work to do as well, so we still can't be happy with um, being on the wrong end of the, on the score line again, but there was some positives in it, but... You know, we need to use this two weeks to improve again and get better and wait for the Dragons in a fortnight.